Hey everyone, it's Tyler, the Antenna Man, and today I'm going to review this little Luxtronic indoor antenna. There's not really much to it. It's a small indoor antenna with a magnetic base that claims a 50 mile range. How well does it work? Stay tuned to find out. If you're a cord cutter or use an antenna, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive a notification whenever I post a new video. Make sure to watch the full video as there's a lot of information in it if you're looking to try an indoor antenna. Do not just skip through to the results of this antenna as you may miss some very important notes about indoor antennas in general. So this video is the first in a new series of indoor antenna reviews on my YouTube channel. I purchased over a dozen indoor antennas and tested them out in the same location. Some of the antennas performed very well while others did not. Before I review this antenna, I need to explain a few things about indoor antennas in general. They typically work in a fair to strong signal area within 30 miles of the broadcast towers depending on certain factors such as your home's building material and how many trees you have around it. Too much tree coverage around your home will likely require at least an attic or outdoor antenna for reliable reception. There is no such thing as an HD or digital antenna. These are just keywords antenna companies use to get their products to show up on search results for people who think HD antennas are a real thing and just type in HD antenna on Amazon. It's not whether an antenna is HD or digital, but how an antenna is designed for specific TV frequencies. UHF and VHF. While you will always get the best reception and most channels possible with an outdoor antenna, there's a way to find out if you stand a chance to get all the major networks with an indoor antenna. On your web browser, go to rabbitears.info, click on signal search, drag and zoom the pin drop to your location, change the height above ground to 13 feet, and click on go. This will generate a reception report at your location. If you see most of the local channels with signals listed as good, there's a good chance you might be able to use an indoor antenna. Anything else that's listed as fair or poor, you will probably need an attic or outdoor setup. While you have the reception report on your screen, pay attention to the RF channel numbers in parentheses. These are the channels each TV station broadcasts on, and it's usually different than what they show on air. Any TV station with an RF channel 7 through 13 highlighted in yellow is high VHF. It may require a long antenna element to be picked up, but they can sometimes be picked up with a flat antenna if the signal is strong enough. TV stations with RF channels 2 through 6 highlighted in red are low VHF and will require a very specific antenna to be picked up. Some examples of low VHF channels in larger markets include 6ABC in Philadelphia, PBS in Pittsburgh, Boston, and Providence. I only found one indoor antenna that works well for low VHF, which I'll feature in a future video of mine. If you have low VHF in your area and don't want to wait, you can sign up for an antenna recommendation from me on my website at antennamanpa.com. Most of you will only have high VHF and UHF channels in your area. So back to this antenna. The design is incredibly basic. It's a very small, short antenna that appears to be only good for UHF. Remember that you typically need a longer antenna element for VHF channel 7 through 13, like a set of rabbit ears. One thing that is kind of cool about this antenna is that it has a magnetic base. It can be stuck on a metal object or a window frame and it won't fall down. To be honest, that's about it in terms of feature list. I'm really surprised to see an antenna like this marketed for a home TV set and not for a portable TV. How well does it work? I tested it out in a new location with a bunch of other indoor antennas to see how it performs. Keep in mind that this is a new location compared to previous indoor antennas I reviewed on my YouTube channel. Do not compare the results of this antenna to other outdoor antennas or indoor antennas I reviewed on my YouTube channel prior to 2022. Here's a list of the TV stations I'll be testing out, along with the RF channel in parentheses. There are two TV stations that broadcast on VHF and three that broadcast on UHF. Here are the results from the Antennas Direct Clearstream 2 Max, a very popular indoor antenna. Let's see how this small magnetic base antenna compares. 
The signal on WNEP, which broadcasts on UHF channel 21, was fairly low on this antenna. Most antennas I tested out on the same day brought in at about 70 to 80 percent. This antenna was not able to pick up WILU, which broadcasts on VHF channel 12, likely due to not having any VHF elements. However, the antenna did pick up WBRE, which broadcasts on VHF channel 11, with a lower signal level. The signal on WOLF, which broadcasts on UHF channel 22, was lower on this antenna than the Clearstream 2 Max. This antenna was not able to pick up the low-powered repeater of NJPBS on UHF channel 27. Out of the dozen indoor antennas I tested out on the same day, this was actually one of the worst ones. It performed okay considering it's a very small size, but I really would not recommend it as an antenna for a regular TV in your home. The size is simply too small. Even if the antenna picks up some channels, it covers such a small surface area that there would likely be dropouts in bad weather. The only reason I would recommend this antenna would be to use it as a portable antenna for travel on the go with a small TV set, since they do make several 7-inch battery-powered models. I attached a few links to some models in the description of the video if you're looking for a small TV set for power outages or camping. With any indoor antenna, it's critical to use some kind of signal meter as a guide to find the best location for it. Moving an antenna as little as a few feet can have a huge impact on reception, which I demonstrated in a previous video of mine attached in the description. If you plan on using an indoor antenna, I highly recommend the Mediasonic DTV box. It has a signal meter that comes up if you press the info button on the remote twice, which is very helpful to find the best spot for an indoor antenna. I include a link to it along with an instructional video in the description of this video. I'll be releasing many other indoor antenna reviews in the future, so make sure to stay tuned to my YouTube channel. I was truly amazed at how well and how poor some performed. If you don't wanna wait, feel free to sign up for an antenna recommendation from me on my website at antennamanpa.com. I'll eliminate all the guesswork and give you information on the best antenna for your location based on my experience testing out over 100 antenna models and actually installing them in four TV markets. Thanks again for watching this YouTube video. An additional thanks to everyone who supports me on Patreon or as a member of my YouTube channel. If my videos have helped you cut the cord or if you just think they're cool and would like to help support them while gaining exclusive perks, jazz behind the scenes content, access to my videos ad free one day early, direct contact with me, visit patreon.com forward slash antenna man, or click the join button in this video. If you're on Facebook, you can like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash antenna man PA. If you're not on Facebook and would like to receive email updates whenever I post new videos, feel free to sign up to my email list. I attached a link in the description of the video. Stay tuned to my YouTube channel for more cord cutting and antenna related videos and have an awesome day.